public domain now. Hello, welcome back to the Spanless Game, where I'm playing every Super Nintendo game in order of release, and I have three games today. I have New Horizons, Mickey Mania, and Operation Thunderbolt, and our first game is New Horizons, which is the ultimate role-playing adventure. And it seems to be some kind of pirate swish swashy game. The ultimate role-playing adventure. Imagine a time when mighty natives, con natives, navies, controlled the seven seas. Ruthless pirates searched for hidden treasure, and scholars argued that the earth was round. Now picture yourself as a young explorer on a mission that will carry you to the four corners of the globe. Um, let's see. Play the son of Portuguese Duke out to discover the legendary land of Atlantis. A Spanish female Navy lieutenant turned pirate. A British privateer commissioned by Henry the Seventh, Eighth rather, to destroy the Spanish fleet. Uh, let's see. An Italian adventurer in debt from his father and Turkish orphan starting his own trading business. Your adventure will take you over 130 exotic locations. Along the way, you'll discover exotic monuments. Long sought treasures and valuable merchandise to trade as captain of your fleet. Be care or keep a gear uh, careful eye on the horizon for pirates eager to steal your valued cargo or an enemy navy at war with the flag of your ship so that your ship flies. Once in port, remember to recruit mates, purchase new ships and gunnery, gather inf useful information, and settle disputes with your enemy by challenging them to a duel to get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. I'm not ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Kwai presents. From its recognition series of things. The gold ship. It's worth a lot of money. Uncharted Waters is the name of the game, not New Horizons. New Horizons is now the name of the game. Deal with it. Please select your character. Anyway, it would be Pretty Boy, Redhead, Goatee Men, Young Lad, Not Han Solo, and Blue Haired Girl. Let's be Not Han Solo. Would you take over my debt? The Italian adventurer roams the world in search of treasure and unknown to pay the debt his father left. British privateer appointed by the King Henry VIII to the Royal Knights in a secret mission to defeat the Spanish Fifty. The son of Portuguese Duke Leon. I don't know, I don't think I'm already. Isn't somebody scrappy? Dutch ge geographer hired by his photographer friend Mercator to explore far off lands and make a map of the world. Sure. Do you change my name? Please give me a fine name. Family name? Beef Axe. That's a fine name, right? Yeah, that's got a nice ring to it. Oh, they are not controlling this at all. Hello, Professor. This is lucky bit here. We'd be blending into you. Hello there. Why? Do you question from a geography class? For a professor, your lectures are so clearly presented, cleverly presented in classes are every student's favorite. Of course, they don't have any questions for the class. It's just that Mr. McCater is looking for you. Mm, I wonder why. I better go find out. See you later, my man. Hello, Mr. Oh, beef. I was just looking for you. Yum, 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 yum. Actually, I have a favor to ask for you. A favor? Go ahead, I'll do what I can. After all, it was your recommendation that got my teaching job at the university. Well, then listen up. I don't remember who anybody said. There's too many characters to keep the voices up. Oh. I suspected much. Now I too long have traveled the world discovering lands, but I'm old and weak and that. I'm ashamed to admit it. I hate ships. 
But you're young and strong and deserve for knowledge and adventure, am I right? Oh yes, I can't say that teaching is very exciting. I'd like to live a life on the brink full of unexpected surprises. That's just what I thought. How does this strike you? Zip. I'll supply the money. How would you like to make career out of being an explorer? Really? I can't think of anything that make me happy. So you'll go and explore the world of my place. Well, what exactly do I need to do? I need you to seek out the unknown, to explore the vast regions of the ruins, to travel these far off lands, you'll hear the most sought after knowledge of your time, distant ports and uncharted waters. So we can make maps for our other sailors! Exactly. My goal is to make a map with details of the whole entire world. No one's done that yet. Map of the whole world? That's a big job! While competing with all the adventurers and scholars, blah, blah, correct. We're due. We gotta do it better and faster than anyone. This map can make us famous. You can count on me, Mercator. Oh, he's projecting again. That's a, that, that's a very high level joke right there. I know that I'd leave that up to you. Is that so? Well, I'll just sign it. I'll name it Mercator in your honor since you won't come with me. Why, thank you, Beef. Oh, I almost forgot. I'd like to answer someone. He'll be going with you. I figure you need a mate to teach you the ropes of the sea travel, so I search for the best seaman. His team is Hans. Ahoy there, Professor. I am a sea dog. And I am seaman. Ugh. Aye, aye, Captain. Whew. RPGs, man. They take a while. I get my ship. Hammerman, I'll bring these to the shipyard. New ship, sir. I right. hope oh, you can afford a new ship. Oh, that one's good. Oh no, I don't want that one. That's for experienced people. How about that one? No. That one? Teak, oak, I'll go cedar. How about balsam? Oh yeah, I got, I got five thousand. Yeah, time to name your ship. I was supposed to name it Mercator. Um, I don't know. How about? Good ship zap of Captain Beef. Zap pass? Ship. I'm back in 20. Uh. Well, I'm sure there's a fine game there. Graphics, uh, we'll give that a 5. Sound, we'll give that a 4. A half. Music was pleasant. 6.5. Story seems kind of cool and interesting, actually. We'll give that a 6.5. Controls seem fine. I'm sure they're okay. Funness. We'll give that a 5 as a hold my attention, a 6, I'm kind of curious where it goes, and overall we're going to give it a 6.5. Seems like it'd be pretty in-depth uh, RPG in their game, uh, but it just takes a long time to get going. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is Mickey Mania. Mickey Mania. Doesn't even look quite right, but sure, that's Mickey. Back of the box, Mickey Mania, the timeless adventure of Mickey Mouse. It's the game that everyone's... Got everyone talking. Join Mickey on this incredible action-packed journey through 23 graphically stunning levels. It's the greatest gameplay ever for the greatest Disney character of all time. You and Mickey will meet a host of hilarious and sometimes formidable creature characters from six of Mickey's best loved animated features, including Steamboat Willie, the Mad Doctor, Moose Hunters, Lonesome Ghosts, Mickey and the Beanstalk, and the Prince and the Pauper. Through the magic of Disney animators, these six animated features have been brought to life in the form of an interactive game that's destined to be a family classic in the true Disney tradition. Okay. I'll take their word for it. It's the best game ever made. Hmm. 
he exploded. What? I'm public domain now. They should have made a black and white look like the character from. Boy, but they didn't. Have we done? Oh boy! What's up there? Oh, there it is. Nice to you, Billy. Oh boy, what do I do? I beat the game, yay! Yep. Short levels and loading. Probably should have just killed Mickey Mouse. Oh boy, this game has a lot of load time. Apparently, you can get up there. Apparently, one can get up there. I can. Super jump. Nope. Not for me. Ow. I don't know what to do here. And I guess that's it. And I don't know how to get past that point. Graphics, we're going to give those a six and a half. Sound, we'll give that a three and a half. Not a lot. Not wall to wall sound there. Music, uh, we'll give that a six story. Uh, we'll give that a, well, that really isn't a story, is there? Zero controls are okay. We'll give that four and a half. Funness, a four and a half. Does it hold my attention? A three. And overall, it's going to get a four and a half. That was Mickey Mania. And let's see what's next. Our final game today is Operation Thunderbolt. And it's compatible with the Super Scope and the mouse. Good for it. And it's a very shooty, shooty, bang, bang game. It's from Tato. So this would be like a sequel to like, uh, was it Operation Wolf? It's the terrorist's turn to be afraid. Very afraid. Trans Global Flight 520 has been hijacked and the passengers have been relocated to the terrorist headquarters. If the terrorist demands have not been met in 24 hours, they will begin killing innocent hostages. Your mission is parachute into enemy territory, locate and release the hostages and sanction the terrorist. There's no room for error or mercy. You are armed with the best, uh, the latest anti-terrorist weaponry, rapid fire assault guns and rocket launchers with armor piercing shells. Shoot crates that are dropped from passing support planes for extra ammo. Make it to the designated rendezvous point to gather in uh, intelligence needed regarding the next phase of the operation. Above all, see to it that the hostages make it safely home. You'll have to blast your way through an inferno to get there. Okay. Game start. With Sonia, Erica, Dan, Shin, Kinte, or Shempo. Let's be Erica. Okay. 
We pinpointed three targets so far. One of them could show us where to find the passenger. So it's your call, Dan. Where are you going? Dan? You want to be Dan? Okay, I guess I'm Dan now. Oh, that's right. Oh, this is going to be impossible. Gun games don't work well uh, on my totally legit hardware. Just when like the mouse, the mouse doesn't keep in sync with my real mouse, so it's it's basically impossible. I prefer the original game. Operation Warp in the arcade. The gun. That was cool. Remember someone tossing purses at me. I don't think this is a terrorist organization. I think it's a cult. That's why they're all wearing purple. Something new? Nope, just nothing. I'm at a house. Hey, throwing pops their shit at me. Rendezvous with Benzati, agent, and obtain valuable information. from my face. Oh no, I'm almost dead. Whatever will I do? I believe I'm not dead when those missiles just landed on my head. You are dead! Operation Thunderbolt. Graphics, uh, not so great. Three there, three and a half maybe. Sound, we'll give that a five and a half. Music, uh, I don't really remember any music, so we'll give it a one. I'm sure it had something. Story, we'll give that a one. Controls, just a light gun game. So, you know, they're okay. Six and a half. Funness, a three, does it hold my attention? A one, and overall it gets a Three and a half. That was Operation Thunderbolt. A very, very meh light gun game. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next game.